So I want to appeal to those of you out there that are on the middle of the fence about where to come down on gun control. You're not really sure on, you know, should we be allowed to have firearms? Should we not be allowed to have firearms? You know, I want, to, want you to look, if you're really interested in, you know, learning more about this before you make your own decision, I want you to really look at a couple incidents that went down in our country this last weekend. You had the shooting in Texas where two people were gunned down in a church that, you know, were completely innocent. And then you also had in New York City, you had um, a guy going to a Hanukkah celebration, wielding machete and ended up stabbing five people, right? I want you to look at those two situations and I want to put a point to you. And that is this, evil always finds a way. And evil doesn't really care what weapon it uses. Sometimes it's a, a box truck. Sometimes in 9-11, they use box cutters. Sometimes it's a firearm. Sometimes it's a shotgun. Sometimes it's an AR-15. Sometimes it's a pistol. Sometimes it's, you know, um, chemicals or drugs. It really doesn't matter to evil. They, evil always finds a way. And so many of us that are very pro-Second Amendment and pro um, liberty and pro having the right to bear arms. We look at an incident like the one that went down specifically in Texas and say, how many more people would that young man who had a long criminal history, how many more people would he have been able to kill if somebody, a good guy with a gun was not present, right? And some of you out there, there's two, there's really two sides of the aisle here. Some of, some people out there say, well, Maybe if we, you know, maybe if we had more gun control, things like this wouldn't happen, right? Well, I want to I want to point out that this this man, he had a long criminal history. He wasn't, you know, he couldn't go out and buy a firearm anyway, and he obtained his firearm illegally to prove my point that evil always finds a way. And if you don't, you don't have to look at just the gun debate to figure that out. I mean, we've made so many things illegal, like you know, um, child exploitation, right? Um, trafficking children. We've made, you know, drug smuggling illegal. We've made many things illegal that hasn't really stopped, you know, evil in finding a way. And I say that because if I'm right, if evil does find a way, then shouldn't we allow our, you know, you, you and I, shouldn't we be allowed to have the best chance to stop evil possible instead of putting that in somebody else's hands, like hoping the police show up in time. I ask you, if you were in that church or if you were in that Hanukkah celebration and you were just seeing these maniacs try and kill people, wouldn't you be praying that somebody who had the courage to stand up and do something about it and the tools to do something about it to save you and those around you?